I'm Dr. Ami Sangvi, consultant diabetologist from Mumbai. So, at Diacon 2023, I'm going to be talking about should HbA1c be the main target in our patients with diabetes. I think it's a wonderful topic to be discussing on. Change is the only constant. Things have moved from urine test to finger prick to structured SMBG to a fasting PPs, HbA1c which has been the gold standard. CGM and with the ever evolving AI, we are excited to know what's next in store for us. HbA1c has been the gold standard for over decades, from right from 1956, from the time it was discovered, to 2010, when it was inculcated in the guidelines to be diagnosed, uh, to be used in diagnosis of pre-diabetes and diabetes. We have come a long way, and even after so many years, still in most of our clinics, it becomes the major uh, evaluation factor, not only for the patients but also for the treating physicians in terms of understanding how our patients are doing with their diabetes. Times have evolved. We find that A1C misses on these intra crises of the patient's sugars throughout the day. It misses on the interday and intraday glycemic variability. And that's when the CGM or the continuous glucose monitoring system and the time and range comes in picture. So CGM monitors your sugars throughout the day every 5 minutes for 24 hours and if they say that if 70% of your glucose is between 70 to 180 mg per deciliter throughout the day that is 17 hours of the day you are in good time and range. If it is below 70 it is time below range and if it is above 180 it is time above range. As we things are evolving the, we are able to manage our patients better because these uh, parameters, these graphs help us to discuss it with patients better but it is a little costly affair. HbA1c costs less. Still what I feel is CGM, HbA1c and your finger testing that is structure, structured SMBG all together should be the right way to guide your patients to treat their the sugars better and get a good glycemic variability. Thank you.